10 millimeter, better safe than sorry. Let's go ahead and loosen that up, pop it off, kill all the power. You just don't want to accidentally set off airbag. So things that I know we have to take off. The little clothes hanger hook, we'll pull the little flat back and uh, see what size bolts in there. These corner pieces are held in with push pins, I do believe. We should be able to pop those out. And there is an airbag in there, so that's why you want to take your negative off. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take my headrest off as well, so we're not trying to fight that while we're pulling the headliner down. I opened up my window to see if maybe I can get it from the outside easier, get those bolts. Um, I don't think there's anything holding that down. It should just fold down, but you don't want to pull it too far unless you take all of this off. Because if you do, you're going to crease this and it's going to leave a line. You just don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and pull our door seal down. Free up our headliner. Take your little pry tool or flathead. Pop that guy down. And then this is going to be a 8 millimeter. It's just got like a Christmas tree. Just want to pull that guy out. All right, now with this guy, just start at the bottom. Ow. Pop him out. It does hurt. It's freaking sharp plastic. Work our way. There's one right here in the top middle. There we go. All right. So you can't pull it off. You do have a little bungee cord thing that holds it on. Right there, you got a seven millimeter bolt. Just holds on that little bungee right there. Don't really know what that's for, but I guess that's something to do with the airbag. It'll explode this out and it'll flip up. I don't really know. But a seven millimeter bolt, just take that, pull that hook down and uh, release this. And you can slide this down the seat belt out of the way. All right, so this is definitely the most tedious part of the process and probably the scariest as well because you don't want to mess up your headliner. Um, in all reality, if you have a sliding back glass, it is probably in your best bet to take the whole headliner down, but that involves a lot more than I really feel like doing today. So about right here and right there, there is a clip that pushes it in. And the reason I said sliding back glass because if you have the sliding back glass, you got this lip right here, and it's probably almost a full inch back in the truck than the original glass. So if you have a solid back glass, you should be able to reach straight up and, and be able to get onto this headliner. But now we got this lip going on above it and uh, it's a little difficult, but I'm just gonna do my best to uh, not mess up anything and uh, get these clips out. So, wish me luck. All right. We're easing down. I think there's two more clips right here. Let me do some investigating, investigating, and I'll catch up with y'all. So if we look up in here, it's gonna be hard to show y'all. Not gonna be able to really show y'all the process of doing this, but there's a bolt. These are 10 mil up in there. There's one up there, uh, one down there. They just go down top and bottom. I'm not going to be able to show y'all because I'm honestly not even going to be able to see myself. I'm just going to use my hands and uh, finagle up in there and get those taken out. And then we can get the little spoiler off. So I'll show y'all how many bolts there are and everything when I get it all done. So eight nuts and four bolts later, we have this thing loose. There is two bolts here, two on the same on the other side. And then the eight bolts holding these on. I got the center ones going up through here and uh now we've just got the little let me see if i can show you the yellow guy up there i kind of see it wiggling that is what's holding this thing on still you might be able to just grab this thing once you have all the bolts and nuts out of it and just yank it until it pops out but i reached up in here see that little yellow guy there's one on that side and one on this other side and i use these little baby pliers <laughs> to reach up in there and squeeze it and just barely put some pressure right here and it popped free it's kind of like one of those little pinch things and it went up through and now this thing is free and i just didn't want to grab it and jerk it and, and break it because this is i think fiberglass so yeah but it is free now so let's go ahead and pull it off probably gonna have a couple of wires wow it's dirty under here oh we got a, a moth under here Sick. All right. Uh, we've got several things to detach back here. We got some Christmas trees. 
holding these wires. Pull them free. Push the red tab back. Squeeze it down. All right, now the camera. Uh, the camera is something I don't know about. I don't want to break the thing, so we're just going to go ahead and take it out. We can swap it over to the other one just like this. T20. There we go. Just sit our camera aside and we can hook it up as a last thing as well. So now our little spoiler with our third brake light is free. So here is the two bolts that I was talking about that are on the very end. Nut, 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 two bolts. And these are the little yellow guys. You gotta squeeze them babies in to pop that free. But now it looks like we got one, two, three, four, and then push that guy in and that should release our third brake light. Got a nice thunderstorm rolling along outside. Also remember before you unplug your negative terminal, drop your tailgate. Because 2021, when your tailgate is shut and you have no power, it doesn't open anymore. this guy Come on. there she is got some detail mist clean microfiber we're gonna clean all this gunk up before we put it back together hopefully to ensure we don't have any leaking issues so make sure your bolts are tight make sure everything's clean cross your fingers hope you don't see water just grab me some Taco Bell. I wanted to end this video off with a little bit of an explanation because we usually install things on this channel, not just tear them apart, but did all that process of taking all that apart. And then I found out the part that I was gonna install actually did not fit. The portion that held the camera into the third brake light was different on the aftermarket than the stock one. So it, it didn't bolt up and would not work. So unfortunately, did not get to swap out my third brake light. I had a tinted one. Um, I, I, they're working on it. They didn't. They, they were shocked that it didn't fit. Um, it's been a couple weeks. I wanted to wait and see if maybe they figured it out, sent me a new one, but I haven't heard back from them as far as like them figuring out what the issue was or whatever. So just figured I'd make this video. There's not many videos on YouTube showing you clearly how to take everything apart to get that rear spoiler and third brake light off. So if you need to replace yours, yours has gone bad or you're wanting to take it off to tenant or you have an aftermarket third brake light to go in there those are the steps you need to follow it's tedious for sure take your time be careful don't mess anything up but everything came apart fine just it took a while to just reach in there feel around be nice and slow and um yeah everything went back together uh, i siliconed all my bolts it's been a couple weeks we've had a ton of rain i've had no leaking problems so yeah instead of scrapping the video i figured i'd make one dedicated showing y'all how to remove that in case you ever need to so hopefully i was able to show y'all properly how to take that apart anyways that's the explanation maybe in the future if we get another one hopefully we'll get another one replace the uh stock one match our taillights so that's the explanation hopefully enjoyed i'll see y'all in the next one